Hey, everybody, I'm breaking out the Genius Act to help everybody be able to understand it. So here it is in different parts, giving you the different takeaways of what you need to know about the Genius Act. All right, takeaway number two. The bill defines payment stablecoin as a digital asset that maintains a fixed value through backing by fiat currency or other secure reserves. I do want to say this sounds like, feels like very close to a CBDC. It's not exact, but boy, it's getting really close to feeling like a CBDC. Uh, those people who are afraid of CBDCs. Uh, to explain Fed now is not a CBDC, but this is getting really close to being something like that. The bill defines a payment stable coin as a digital asset designed for use as a means of payment or settlement. The bill mandates that these stable coins must be fully backed one to one with US dollars or, this is important, or other approved, highly quality approved liquid assets like, uh, say, treasury bills. Also, stablecoin issuers must maintain public redemption policies and they must take appropriate steps to ensure price stability that is relative to the US dollar. That's really important. So they're defining what a stablecoin is going to be under the Genius Act. Again, I'm not saying it's exactly a CBDC because it's not eliminating cash money at all, but it's saying it's the equivalent of what a US dollar would be or something back that has the equivalent of a US dollar. There's a lot more to come. There's no doubt about it. If you've got any comments, shoot them over to me. Let me know your thoughts. I'd love to keep this going. I've been saying a lot here re recently. This year, it's not been class dismissed. It's been, uh, let's keep the class going. We've got a lot to learn because class is in session. I'll talk to you more here soon.